All right, if you're into EDC gear, you probably talk about it a lot around your family. And if your kids see you building EDC kits and using those things all the time, they're probably gonna want one for themselves. If you've followed my channel for any period of time, you've probably seen my personal EDC loadout, the stuff I keep in my truck, and even my specialized dad's EDC kit. Today's video is gonna be all about the awesome EDC adventure kits I built for my kids. And guys, they have an absolute blast with these things. So let's head inside to the desk and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so before we get going here, I think it's important to talk about what this kit is supposed to be and what it is not. So what this is supposed to be, what this little EDC adventure kit is supposed to do is get my kids outside, having fun, and getting into some good-natured kind of trouble. Just going out and exploring the woods, or if we go on a hike, it's something for them to have a little bit of fun with. Now, it has some good elements in it that can teach them some important skills, or it can help them out in a pinch, but this is not meant to be this survivalist preppers type thing. Although it's awesome to teach your kids those skills, and this does teach them some fundamentals and stuff, but this isn't meant to keep them alive in the woods if they get lost overnight or can't find their way home. This is meant to be fun and lightly educational and something to get them outside and away from screens. So all that said, let's dive into this thing. So this bag, this is my daughter's kit. This is just a cool kind of Kavu sling waist pouch kind of thing. She really digs this. There's a ton of different colors. Um, one of our local outdoor stores has these. You can find a bunch of these online. Uh, it's got a super high quality strap and it's padded here. So if you got a lot of stuff in it, it doesn't wear them out. Um, but it's got a really nice clasp too, uh, really high quality and just buckles up really cool. And Kavu is kind of a cool brand that has some street cred at her school and everything. So she digs this thing. I will say my son, who's a little bit younger, uh, just wants the basics. So I got like this army looking kind of waste pack thing from Walmart for just a couple of bucks. I think these uh, aren't a whole lot, maybe 20 bucks or so. Everything I'm gonna show you in this kit, you can get easily online. I'll put the links down in the description. So make sure to check those out and save yourself some money. Uh, but I try to keep this stuff, obviously, because it's my kid's stuff. I try to keep this stuff reasonably cheap. Most of it's just a, a dollar or two here and there. Some of it's a little pricier and I'll explain that along the way, but let's dive into this thing and get started. So the first thing you may have noticed me just moving this thing around uh, this is a little glow keychain thing from gear aid uh, that's surprisingly great so i personally in my own kits have some really nice tritium stuff that's like radioactive and glow super cool but you don't want to put like a crazy expensive fob in your kids stuff but this thing is surprisingly bright charges with the sun charges with the flashlight really fun and they can take it off if they want and tie it to a cord and make it glow at night and spin it around do some fun stuff with it so cool little thing if they leave their bag like laying in the grass or laying in the woods and you're trying to find it at night this thing can be a little lifesaver so let's start with the big pocket here you'll notice there's two pockets in this one this pocket is kind of geared around go have an adventure and this pocket which we'll get to next is like how to help yourself if you get into some trouble while you're having an adventure so we'll just go through each of these items i'll pop this up here and we'll go through things one-on-one -on -one. the first thing i'll pull out here are these little just cheapo Walmart binoculars that my kids absolutely love. Now I'll say, if you look at the rest of this pouch, you'll notice this thing takes up, I feel like 60% of the interior space. So if you don't feel like your kids would enjoy these or they wanna keep them around their neck instead, they're gonna have so much room to put other stuff in here. But uh, my daughter likes to keep these in. So like I said, really inexpensive. You can probably find similar stuff online too. Uh, but just great simple binoculars. You can focus them in and everything um, and they do they do the job So if they're looking for animals or doing some hide-and-seek stuff just mess around with each other. Uh, these are a blast uh, We pull these out all the time really cool little thing simple item to throw in there that uh, a lot of bang for the buck So uh, let's keep going here next up. I'll pull up this little pen and notepad just something simple again a cheapo little pilot g2 mini pen uh, which is a great little pen in its own right a really inexpensive edc option but uh, keep one of these in here because it's small and tiny and just keep a tiny little notepad with just some simple paper and stuff you're taking notes or playing a game or making a list of stuff or drawing or whatever else uh, can't go wrong with that uh, inexpensive and lots of fun to be had there we'll pull out next there's kind of two items here that go together which is this knot guide and just a hank of paracord. If you're in the EDC world, of course, you know and love paracord. I've got a little uh, Night Eyes gear tie around these, which is also kind of a little value added to the kit because you can take that off and put it around a bunch of other things you need to cinch up. These are pretty awesome. But I just cut a few feet of paracord here for the kids to mess with so they can strap stuff up, tie stuff down, um, goof off with this. But the real fun is if they're sitting around trying to learn some actual skills and everything, this little pro knot card is surprisingly great. And so it just walks you through all this stuff that you probably would hope that they would learn in the scouts if they have access to a program like that, or just somebody with some general outdoors knowledge. Uh, but anyway, these things are really nice. Shows you how to do all these ropes 
Um, I found them just sitting around outside. If they're like, hey, we're bored, we need something to do. I'm like, hey, pull out and see if you can figure out some of these knots. Really cool little thing, really inexpensive, waterproof, weatherproof. Um, it's got this little carabiner that came with it too, but lots of fun to be had there, teaching them an actual skill. Um, and something that I think they'll enjoy and they'll know some knots for the rest of their life. So pretty cool little thing there. Uh, next up in the adventure category, we have just a good compass. All sorts of different compasses you can put in this kit. We have this one in here, just kind of a flat map compass. This particular model is from SOL. Uh, but really nice map compass here. And this one actually has a little magnifying glass built in too. But my daughter was going through my own gear and said that she'd rather carry one of these kind of military style compasses instead. So even though this one packs better, and this is what I would recommend, uh, my daughter thought this was super cool to have like this military style one with all the adjustments. And it also has a little magnifying glass and everything too. But something about this, I think the idea of like flipping it open and telling the direction, then flipping it shut. It's got cool like kids street cred. <laughs> so these are a good option too. But I recommend these just because they pack a little bit smaller and you can get a bigger magnifying glass out of that. Uh, if you don't have a compass option that has a magnifying glass built in, of course, another great option is one of these flat pack uh, Fresnel lens or Fresnel lens, or I don't know. In the comments, anytime I talk about one of these in a kit, I always get yelled at. Because apparently in Europe, they pronounce it a different way. In Tennessee, I feel like I hear people say it all sorts of different ways because we don't pronounce anything right <laughs> in Tennessee. Uh, but these are great, super cheap. Get a, a bunch of them for just a few bucks. Uh, but again, weighs nothing, slides in easy. Uh, flat pack, but awesome for looking at bugs, checking out cool leaves, and trying to start fires. Um, and you know what? Talking about fire, we'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. So I've got a few things in here for fire. Uh, the first, if you're sitting around the campfire and everything, of course you may have seen these at the store. I think there's a few different brands now. But campfire colors are a blast, last about 30 minutes. They claim to be environmentally friendly, which I guess is true. I haven't actually verified that. But it just adds some cool rainbow colors to the campfire. And I feel like the kids, anything they can do to contribute to something or show like, hey, check this out, I got kind of a cool trick. Um, again, get, this gets them that campground street cred. Uh, so it's fun to have a pack of these in there. I think these aren't much at all. You can get multi-packs online. So uh, that's one of the fire related things in the adventure side of this. Um, another thing I have here, is some fire starters. So again, this is going to depend on your kid. If your kid is like crazy and really is probably prone to burn the house down, you may not want to, I don't know, you may want to wait a while to teach them some fire type skills and stuff. Uh, your kids are responsible or you teach them to have a healthy respect for this stuff. Um, mine have really enjoyed trying to learn how to start fires and trying to use like a ferro rod and stuff. So I put these little fire plugs in here in a little bag threw a few of them in. These actually smell pretty good too. I think these are actually like Bigfoot brand, uh, but these are really simple. So the idea, I mean, it's essentially like the old fashioned Vaseline soaked cotton ball idea. Except these burn a little bit better and a little bit longer in my experience. But you kind of break these up, kind of get them twisted around and everything, expose some of these fibers, and that will take a spark really easy and last for a few minutes if they're trying to get a little fire going. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is ask my kids, like, hey, go get the campfire going, or go get it started. Uh, and again, that's a cool way to teach them this uh, really valuable skill and for them to feel like they're getting to contribute around the campsite um, and kind of look cool to their friends and everything. So these little fire plugs are awesome. You can get big bags of them online. I just threw a few of them in here. So let's say you've given them uh, fire starting stuff, though. How are they actually going to cast a spark? How are they going to get into that? Um, that will lead us to one of the next items on the list here which is uh, this little multi-tool thing. So this is a Tactica 020, I think. Um, and this is meant to be like a regular adult's multi-tool. But what I really like about this thing is it has a bunch of smaller tools on this that they can't get into a whole lot of trouble with, but it also has this tiny little fire rod on it, this tiny little ferro rod. Uh, so once you scrape the paint off that, you can take one of these scraper edges and do a little shower of sparks. Um, I find these to be preferable to giving your kid a lighter or something with a live flame. Now, it, again, it all depends on your kids or maybe totally responsible. Here's name and flame. Go have fun. Uh, but for mine, just one thing, I want them to learn a skill like this first before they get a Bic lighter or one of the other ways that, you know, you cheat. <laughs> but these are pretty cool. They've got little measurements on the side here. They claim all sorts of tools on these with tent peg pullers and rope cutters and all this stuff. And you can see, like, there's a little kind of cutting edge there for slicing some rope a little flat edge for a screwdriver, a bottle opener. Uh, but the other thing I like about this one, again, if you want to teach them some primitive style stuff, it also has these little holes on here to make a little makeshift sundial. So you can plug this stuff in, set that up during the day, and they can learn from a book or YouTube or whatever else before they go out how to tell the time. And that's just a really cool little skill. So 
um, a fun tool to have in there if you don't feel like your kids are totally ready for like um, a little mini tool or knife or multi-tool and we'll get to that in just a second but I uh, really like this one for kids. That's the Tactica 020 uh, multi-tool. Uh, before we get on to other tools, and you may have already seen one in there, let's talk about light real quick. So um, I've given my kids all sorts of cheapo flashlights and stuff over the years, and those are fun, and I feel like they get lost all the time. But the thing I feel like they've had the most fun with, and that's the reason why I put these in this kit, are these little, uh, I think they're called bug lights from Night Eyes. And so they have kind of a standard version too, which is a solid color. This is a, just a, a little bit more of a playful one. My daughter thought was cool, but you get these cool leg. Like, we mentioned these little gear ties. It has like a little wire and a rubberized coating on it that just really sticks on to stuff. Uh, this is the same idea, except it's a lot more functional. So you can throw this over a book and bend it down. You have a book light. You can set it up to point at something on the side of the wall and they can do shadow puppets or goof off or make a little, little spotlight. They can hang it from the top of the tent. But it's just this simple little kind of keychain light that's actually surprisingly bright. I mean, I'm sitting in some bright light right now and you can still see it. It has a few different light levels. You can cycle through them just by clicking quick. Uh, it even has like a little strobe thing if you need to help yourself be found. Again, you can tie that down to a backpack. You can use it as a makeshift headlamp. There's a ton of little uses for this thing and it's cheap and it's just cool um, and a really creative thing. And you can replace the battery on the inside too. It also has a little um, s beaner like a plastic version of it that comes with it, but surprisingly fun. The kids love these things. Um, my daughter liked it so much, she got one for my son too because they are fighting over it. <laughs> but cool little light. If you're looking for something to mix it up besides a flashlight, I think this is a fun option. Um, let's talk about the thing that I feel like you probably are going to need to do the most thinking about in this kit, and that is what kind of like knife or multi-tool you're comfortable with your kids using. So my kids, we've done a lot of talking about knife safety and all this other stuff. So this is the option uh, that I've really enjoyed. Uh, my daughter, this is her little Leatherman Micra, and this is great. One reason I really like this is because the primary tool on this is something that I feel like kids probably use more than anything else and that is a really great pair of scissors. So it's got that built in, they're spring-loaded, they've got uh, a blunt tip, they got a little bit of a sharp edge in the end, uh, but my kids have never hurt themselves with this, but this thing also has a lot of other tools in it. It's got a ruler built into the spine there, we've got little slide-out tools, so we've got a little nail pick and nail files and everything, which of course is great. Uh, it's got a nice little pair of tweezers, it's got a, a screwdriver that kind of doubles as a flat edge and as a Phillips, um, it's got another little bottle opener, a tiny little eyeglass thing. If your kids have glasses, that would come in handy in a pinch. And it does have a little knife on it. So it's a small knife. I feel like it's just the right size where if they have a cutting task, it's small enough that they can take care of that, but not big enough um, that they're probably going to do a whole lot of damage with it. Now, knife safety is, of course, a really big thing you want to talk about with your kids. And depending on their age, if you're building this kit for like a six-year-old, yeah, probably not. But if yours are around 10 or so, then maybe it's time to introduce something like this. But this is my favorite option of the small tools. I'm gonna to show you a few others that I think you may wanna consider. Uh, the one I actually started out with before this was one of these Gerber dime tools. Uh, similar concept, a little bit cheaper. Um, it's got a great pair of pliers instead. So instead of the scissors, which I feel like my kids use the most, it does have some pliers, which they still think is cool, and they're spring-loaded. And this also has tools around the edges, except they're located on the outside. So you've got kind of a bottle opener here, you've got little nail neck screwdrivers and everything. But one thing you might notice right off the bat is it is kind of difficult to get these tools out. So there's your knife. I do like that this one has kind of a blunted edge and everything. But these are so stiff, um, even after using them a little bit, that my kids are like, hey, anytime they would take it out, it does have a little tiny pair of scissors there. But anytime they took this tool out, I felt like they were like hurting themselves more or just like not even trusting themselves to open it because it was so tight. Uh, so something to think about if you're considering one of these. Again, this is a little bit cheaper uh, than the Leatherman products, but um, out of all the things in the kit, your kids may use this type of thing the most, and this is probably the biggest splurge in the kit. And I recommend, by the way, a bright color, <laughs> since this is the most expensive thing in the kit. Uh, uh, my daughter chose blue, they've got red and green and all that other stuff. I recommend a color, though, that if they drop it on the ground, they can spot it again. Um, and find it pretty easily because you know how kids lose stuff all the time. That's no fun. But Leatherman makes a good one. The dime thing is okay. You can try your luck on that. They definitely have some colorways and stuff there. There's another option to look at too from Leatherman, which is something I carry personally in my fifth pocket of my jeans quite a bit, which is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Uh, but these tend to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, they're just, they're well-made. They also have pliers. 
Um, in some ways, it's like the dime if the dime was made out of more quality materials um, and just was built to last. The tools come out a lot easier and everything, but I still find that for smaller hands, I like this uh, little leather and micro, really cool thing. So that is all the little tools and all the stuff in the adventure side. So let's say your kids are having an adventure and they need to problem solve a little bit. Maybe they got some scrapes or cuts or just getting gross or trying to figure out how to navigate things outside. This is kind of like a mini uh, first aid kit. It's more of like a boo-boo kit type thing, but uh, my kids really enjoy having access to this. Uh, one, because obviously if they get scraped and everything, they don't have to come track us down to get triage. Uh, but two, because I think there's a little bit of a cool factor for being able to help out your friends. If a friend gets cut or if there's something going on, like, hey, I've got something that can help that, there's a little bit of a cool thing of like, whoa, this kid's like a field medic. So a few little goodies in this pocket. We'll scoot some of this stuff over so I can show you some more things here. Uh, first up, it looks like there's just one in here right now. Normally there's two, so my kids must have been doing some stuff, but just a simple pair of nitrile gloves, just because stuff gets gross. So if they're cleaning something up or digging something out of the creek or digging like a cool little critter out of the dirt or something, having a pair of these is great. They're cheap and they're awesome and you should have them in your own kits too, but those are super handy. Um, getting cleaned up, wet ones wipes. I cannot be a bigger fan of these. You've probably seen these in every kit that we have. Um, use these all the time. They're big enough to like, you can, kids can basically wash their hands, wipe down their face. They get mud all over their arms and knees and stuff. It's a quick way to clean up. Uh, if you need more help, these little towel tabs are where it's at. Again, if you've seen my other videos, you know I keep these in a lot of kits as well, but these are super great. Uh, all you do is just open them up. If they have their water bottle um, or near a water source, they can just get a little bit wet and it breaks apart into basically a full size little, I think 10 inch by 10 inch or so towel. So they can use that again to wipe off and get some mud off. And they're just awesome because when you put water on them, they expand and they're just cool to see. So you can get a giant bag of these um, for not much money at all and put them in all your different kits. So super great, really enjoy those. By the way, if you're wondering where the water is, that's because my kids normally have like a water bottle or something already. So I didn't want to weigh down or try to cram something else into this kit that wasn't really needed for that. Let's talk about um, all the boo-boos and first aid and that stuff. So of course, some Band-Aids. Um, I think the fabric bandages from Band-Aid or some other brands are my favorite. Not the plastic kind, but kind of the fabric ones on the outside. Those are our personal favorites, so we always stock those things. Um, and we'll just pull all this stuff out and take a little look through it. Bugs. Now, this time of year in Tennessee is not bad at all. It's cold outside, so most of the bugs went away. But in the summer or the warmer months, having um, a little bug wipe is awesome. Here's a little trick, parents. I found my kids hate the bug spray. They hate the smell. They hate, like, getting wet and everything. But these wipes, they'll do this stuff all day. So throwing one of these in here is a bunch of different brands. This one's Bug Defense by Venture Wipes. Uh, super helpful. And again, if they have it in their own kits, they're more apt to use it because they're solving the problem themselves instead of having to ask a parent or something. Um, along the lines of bugs, sting relief. You can get these little packets here. So if a wasp gets them or a stinging ant or something else. Again, if a friend gets hurt too, how cool is it to say, hold on, I got something for that and pull this out of your kit and be able to help a friend. Really neat item. Lip balm. Now you can also, of course, throw in a tube of chapstick or that sort of thing, but this little packet of it, it has that little cool factor, I think, just a different form factor than they're probably used to. So great to have there. For blisters and stuff, uh, my Medix Super Skin is really great, really thin. I found that this, like, if you put it in a kit, it keeps a little bit better than the typical fabric moleskin stuff. I don't know why that is, but these are great. Um, again, your kids are hiking around, getting blisters on their heels and stuff from their shoes. Awesome fix for that. And going back to the Band-Aids, just again, that taking care of yourself aspect, having a tiny little thing, a triple antibiotic, being able to squirt that in the Band-Aid and patch a brother or sister up. You're the hero of the campground. So really cool. Uh, last thing in the kit here is just a simple whistle. This is one I got from Frog & Co. Whistles, not only can you mess around and make games and stuff and signal each other with these, but in the pinch that they do get stranded or hurt or need help or something, Whistles carry a lot further than yelling, use a lot less energy, weigh nothing, super handy. So you definitely wanna have that in your kit. There you go. That's everything in my kids' EDC adventure kits. Just to answer the one final question you may have, like an EDC kit, they're carrying this stuff every day? No, what I mean is like, this is your everyday kit for when you go on adventures. This is the stuff that you're going outside, you're messing around the campground, you're going back in the woods, uh, you're going to a friend's house. Grab this thing and go. This is like a ready-made problem solve and go have some fun kit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Links to all this stuff, the cheapest I can find it online, is down in the description, so be sure to check that 
that out and go build one of these for your own kids or another kid that's in your life. So that's it for this video. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button. It helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.